Hey guys, Sean here, and today I built the bookcase. And by today, I mean the last couple weeks, and by me, I, I mean me, my brother, and our dad. I made you with my own hands. What movie's that from? And you're thinking, hey Sean, then it's, DVD, it's a DVD case and not a bookcase. Well, DVD case doesn't really sound as good as bookcase. Yeah, here's a montage of us building it and painting it. <laughs> So up here, the first shelf is all of our Blu-rays, and then all of this is our DVDs, plus Wii games, plus Guinness World Decker books, slash Ripley's Believe It or Not books. And down there is some other stuff. So now let's show our entire DVD and Blu-ray collection. First up is The Adventures of Tintin, probably my favorite Spielberg movie, and with amazing motion capture. Aliens, the 30th anniversary edition with the Blu-ray and a bunch of stuff, like an artwork, booklet, and other stuff. Apocalypse Now. This is like really big and the scope and tone of the movie is really grand. Arrival. One of my favorite movies now. My favorite live action movies. Probably my ninth or tenth favorite movie now because it's just like so great and so mind-blowing. Arthur Christmas. Yeah, it was like six dollars with slipcovers, so yeah. The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. The BFG. Yeah, I recently watched Dunkirk and whenever Mark Rylance was on screen, all I could think of was how much he sounded like the BFG. The Big Lebowski, the first steel book that I've got. See, so, okay, dig. The Blair Witch Project. Yeah, because it was cheap and Aaron wanted to get it. The Box Trolls, The Blade Trilogy, The Breakfast Club, Casablanca, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the 30th anniversary, that's like the same style as Aliens, Colossal, yeah, Aaron wanted to see this, Diamonds Are Forever, the steelbook, the second steelbook I ever got, Die Hard, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and I don't know why I still have that, District 9, my brother really likes it, The Expendables, Ooh. The fifth element. Coven Dallas! He's fuel like fire! But he's hotter than hot, he's hot, hot, hot! I'm sorry. Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. It came out 17 years ago, but it looks like a cutscene from a video game that came out like three or four years ago, because it just looks that good. A fistful of dollars, a few dollars more. A good Bad the Ugly, Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid, and Magnificent Seven. Finding Dory. Get out. Yeah, one of my favorite movies of last year because it's just like so cool and so original. Ghost Rider and Elboy. Yeah, I don't know why I still have that. G.I. Joe Retaliation. We watched this once and that was like three years ago and we've never watched it since. The Good Dinosaur. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Yeah, we have all the others on DVD except for the first one. The Hateful Eight. Had to Train Your Dragon 2. Inside Out. Interstellar. This has a bunch of stuff. It has a, that thing, a film cell of the IMAX. Jurassic Park, also have to own, even though I only got it like a couple months ago. Kill Bill 1 and 2. This is one of my favorite movies. It's just, it's just, it's just so good. Kingsman, this is just, it's just so fun. La La Land, the Walmart exclusive version. Kubo and the Two Strings. Yeah, it looks amazing. Metropolis. Yeah, Aaron's love of classic movies shows there. Mission Impossible 1 and Rogue Nation. Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Man Tell No Tales. Yeah, this is the Walmart exclusive version that came out that came with this. Walt Disney Classic Shorts. The Polar Express. Also one of my favorite movies. Red 2, one of Aaron's favorite action movies. Raging Bull. Yeah, I got this for like five dollars and I still haven't watched it because I just haven't been in the mood to just watch a serious sports movie. Reservoir Dogs. More Tarantino. Sleeping Beauty. Star Wars The Force Awakens. The Terminator. Traffic Thunder. One of the funniest movies that we've seen, that Aaron has seen. Valerian. Well, why didn't this get nominated for Best Visual Effects? I know, because it's terrible and, it's, and it was a big bomb and it got screw all money. The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, gotta have it. And finally, 
You Only Live Twice, the James Bond steelbook, written by Roald Dahl, one of my favorite authors, and this, along with Aliens, we got this yesterday at Newbury Comics, because apparently FYE just went out of business because people hate movies. So that was all of our Blu-rays, now let's go on to the DVDs. We have nine, 2001 A Space Odyssey, I, I kind of want that on Blu-ray, A Bug's Life, yeah. I need that on Blu-ray with all the other Pixar movies. A Christmas Carol, the Jim Carrey version. Akira Kurosawa, Four Samurai Classics, Criterion Collection. That includes Seven Samurai, Yojimbo, Sanjuro, and The Hidden Fortress. And also at Newberry Comics at Buckland Hills Mall, they have like a bunch of Criterion, like 12 Angry Men, Fantastic Planet, Safety Last, but and not the ones that I really want, like Fantastic Mr. Fox or Razorhead or Doctor Strange Love. Alice in Wonderland. Alien. Yeah. Aaron, do you want this on Blu-ray? To go with Aliens. Yep. And the last one on the top shelf, the Austin Powers trilogy. With Banana Mystery, Shagged Me, and Goldmember. And now that I've watched You Only Live Twice, I finally know what they based Dr. Evil off of Blofeld from this movie. Yeah, because he looks exactly the same, because I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for with the spoof movie. The Back to the Future trilogy. This is, like, probably my favorite movies from the classic era of the 80s and 90s. Batman Begins. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to get it on Blu-ray. Ben-Hur and the Ten Commandments. Classics, gotta have them. Beetlejuice, Blazing Saddles, The Born Ultimatum, Brave, Cars, and Cars 2. I need them all on Blu-ray. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlotte's Web. I haven't seen this in like 10 years. And then a bunch of Charlie Brown movies that Aaron got for some reason. Christmas Tales, You're a Good Sport, Charlie Brown, I Want a Dog. For Christmas, Charlie Brown. Clue! Such a good movie! Collateral. The Conversation. Yeah, I, I don't really get it. I just thought it was kind of boring. The Cornetto Trilogy with Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and World's End. Coraline. Yeah. Aaron's favorite movie because it's just so weird and so original. For me, I think that I count original movies being original as is it like another movie. So by that logic, Coraline is more original than the Emoji Movie. Even though this was based on a book. And Emoji Movie is terrible. Corpse Bride. More stop motion, because Aaron likes it. Dark Shadows. Death Proof. More Tantino. Car Chase. Despicable Me 1, 2, and this thing, Minion Madness, with three mini movies. Live Free or Die Hard. Django Unchained. And Doctor Strange Love. Let's see, we need it on Criterion. And we need this on Blu ray. Oh yeah, and this, we can get the steelbook of this, also at Newberry Comics, for like $10. Dumbo. I finally have more Disney movies. Yeah, but I haven't seen this yet. Elf. Enchanted. That's how you know. And, hear me out, I, I, I just really like them. Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, Ernest Goes to Jail, Ernest Saves Christmas, Ernest in the Army, Ernest Goes to Africa, Ernest Goes to School, and Slam Dunk Ernest. Yeah, I just think they're like really funny and stupid and cheesy and stuff. I just really like them. E.T. More classics. Expendables 1 and 3. We have 2 on Blu-ray. Fast and the Furious 1, 2... Three, four, and five. Finding Nemo. Yeah, one of my favorite movies because as because as a kid we just always watched it growing up. Frankenstein, the seventy fifth anniversary edition. That's like that's like a book. Buster Keaton double feature, The Jet. What's that from? It's from our other thingy that Aaron dropped it. George Melies, the first wizard of cinema. Yeah, my brother got this for. Christmas. It's 173 of his movies. Of his, some of them like like super classic, like A Trip to the Moon. And then in stark contrast, we have G Force. I don't know why I have it. Ghost Adventures, the original documentary, because yeah, you know, Ghost Adventures is my favorite show. That's not Thomas. Ghostbusters, and Ghostbusters too. Goonies, Gremlins, and Gremlins too. 
Grease, Rock and Ride Elevation, my mom's, one of my mom's favorite movies. The Godfather Collection, Gran Torino, Get Off My Lawn. That's my terrible Clint Eastwood impression. Gravity, Harry Potter 2, 3, 4, 5, and six. The Deathly Hallows is on Blu-ray already if you weren't paying attention from the beginning of this video. Yeah, but we don't have the first one for some odd reason. Hero. This is, you know, this is one that we've had for a long time because my dad is into karate and he likes martial arts movies. History of the World Part One and Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey. Now let's drop it down. You. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who, House of Flying Daggers, How to Train Your Dragon 1. Yeah, I kind of want it on DVD. Not DVD on Blu ray because I already have it on Blu ray. Ugh! Hugo. Yeah, same thing. Hunger Games 1 and 2. Ice Age 1 and 2. Inception. We also found this steelbook on Newberry for $10, just like Django. And here we have. The greatest movie ever made, The Incredibles. Yeah, literally everything about this movie is perfect. There's not one single problem with it, uh, without nitpicking. Inglorious Bastards, Inspector Gadget 2. Yeah, this is a really big guilty pleasure. It's, it's a lot better than the first one with M Matthew Broderick and Prince Charming as Claw. The Iron Giant. It's a mad, 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 mad world. I also want this on the Criterion Blu-ray. Jackie Brown, James and the Giant Peach, King Kong, Kung Fu Panda. It's been a long time since I've watched this. The Last Samurai, The Lego Movie. I also want this on Blu-ray. There's lots of movies that we have that I want to get blue the Blu-rays of. And then there's this, whatever the hell that is. I, I, I've only seen that like once when I was like seven years ago. Lion King, one and a half. Yeah, we grew up with this and We've literally never seen The Lion King in its entirety, ever, in our lives. So that makes, like, a, what, like two in the world, me and Aaron. The Lone Ranger. The Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Madagascar trilogy. Plus Mary Madagascar. The Mad Max trilogy. The Martian. The Matrix trilogy. There's lots of trilogies in the M's. Megamind. The Men in Black trilogy. Minority Reports. It's like a really cool science fiction Spielberg movie. Sorry about that.